this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist by Flooded Bond 14. Hey there, guys. Been a little while since we've been in this uh, Let's Play aisle. Um, now, let's go to the campaign. Hopefully I have the right save file. Yeah, this seems right. I remember doing the Arcana... Okay, so long story short, let's get into it. And before we start, I'm going to open a can of Dr. Pepper. Ready? Oh, maybe I should turn the light on. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Just a second, guys. Uh, there we go. That might help the video quality a little better. Can you guys see better? Let me know if the camera's low. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I know I'm going to do a lot of voices. One thing I did remember, get uh, something to drink. Yeah, that's a good sound. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Ah, cheers. Cheers, boys and girls. And, uh, you know, everyone. Uh, as the tournament continued, Joey Wheeler was challenged by Weevil Underwood. But what Joey didn't know was that Weevil Underwood was using his underhanded tactics again. See what I did there? We can slip the card into Joey's deck, a Parasite card, known as Parasite Parasite. That would make none of Joey's strategies work for this card, would turn all of his monsters to insects, and also prevent him from tributing them while they're insects. Yeah, we'll settle this fair and square, bug boy. Alright, let's do this. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> That's why me, but we'll do for two locator cards. Bugs are awesome. Fire, fire. Let's even if you have to. Yo, 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 yo. You, you squash this little creepy little bug the first time they squared off and do this kingdom. Now I guess it's my turn to do the same. <laughs> it's time to duel, Joey Wheeler. How was that weevil? That that was a clean weevil, that last line. Now I summon my petite moth. And now, with my cocoon of evolution, I'll make it evolve into the great moth. <laughs> Perfectly ultimate great moth. But yes, been a while since we've been on this LP. So some good news in this LP, and on the backlog in general. Um, a lot of the backlog has, well, there's still a little. That needs to be, uh, uh, he's just going with the Kamakiri, flying Kamakiri. Uh, and it's weird, this card's name in the Japanese version was Dragonfly. Why on earth did that, did they change that name? That's a cool, and that's what this thing is. It's a Dragonfly. Why change that? Like, I, 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 anyway. Yeah, I summon alligator sword, check it out. Hey, this mighty lizard man can swing a sword that is more than the speed of sound. <laughs> All right. Glad we got that line read out of the way. We'll set creation dice, but uh, yeah, he's probably going to float into another flying or yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, just so you guys know, some good news. I got all the backlog of this done, obviously. Uh, today is July the 20th, 2022. And this episode's probably going to be uploaded today or later tonight. Uh, so that's pretty... What are you doing? <laughs> He's attacking me with a monster that's weaker than mine? Go, Force Raider! Counter attack! <laughs> Say goodbye, those side points we... Oh, is he now going to attack me with Flying Kamakiri number two, Electric Boogaloo? No. I don't... I, did he do that to thin out his deck? I guess it is only 100 damage? I don't know. I don't know about that move, guys. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, awesome. A little wing god in attack mode. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying... Um, we'll attack this first. Ooh, cocoon. Well, you know what? I was going to save Graceful Dice, but um, now no matter what, we can't kill the cocoon. But in order to, this will A, reduce the damage and let us kill Kamakiri number two. So, eh, go, 
race for dice, my face down card. Wow, four, not bad, not bad. So yeah, I was gonna hold graceful dice, but uh, so I was gonna leave this in attack mode and let him just kind of recklessly charge in. But uh, uh, anyway, anyway, back to my original. T I mean, who cares about the game? We're talking about my progress on my YouTube channel. And uh, but first of all, while we're early in this episode, I do want to give a big thank you to you guys, uh, especially you new guys. Uh, yeah, I've recently gotten, like, you know, since the time I've been back here this summer, uh, it says that the, uh, that I've gotten, like, about nine or eight subscribers. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel and you've recently subscribed, I just want to say thanks, man. I mean, I, I, I really appreciate it. Like, like legit, legit. Because uh, we're almost to 150 now. And those are important benchmarks, you know, 150, 200, you know, 300, etc. We'll get there a little bit at a time. We're we're slowly increasing our attack points. Yeah, yeah. Right now we're at we're at like fourteen hundred. You know, we're almost at fifteen hundred. Yeah, I like that. We're continue to help me slowly increase our attack points, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, we could fuse for this. Um, I'm gonna hold out for Thousand Dragon, honestly. And he doesn't have any good spells. Let's just drop the good old Jay-Z. Now, reveal Jinzo. Did I just call this thing Jay-Z? <laughs> like the rapper? <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Cyber energy shock. And this guy can swing his sword fast in the speed of sound. So what would it be? Like Sonic Blade? Ooh, that sounds like a good, cool attack name. Yeah, alligator sword. Use your sonic blade attack. That totally sounds like an attack name. Totally. Yeah, Garuzis. Yeah, an axe swinging beast warrior with the head of a dragon. All right, I guess we'll go with. I'm not gonna fuse for alligator sword, obviously. Uh, dragon. So let's go with uh, just alligator sword number two. Uh, we'll charge him with these first. Like, the only, uh, yeah, there's the Parasite card. The only, uh, something you should know about this duel, the only real threats in Weevil's deck are Insect Barrier and DNA Surgery, which we have Jinzo, so that's kind of out of the works. Uh, Cocoon of Evolution, as you saw, has 2k defense. And, of course, Insect Queen. Uh, also, Pinch Hopper, does he have Man Eater Bug? I'm pretty sure he has Man Eater Bug. Yeah, so there's a handful of threats, but I mean, eh, this duel ain't too bad. This duel ain't too bad. Baby dragon, and yeah, more than just a child, this dragon's gifted with untapped powder. Power, <laughs> powder. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading the card descriptions in this duel. I guess just because like the first one of uh, alligator sword was just so funny, I just had to keep reading each one. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I guess I messed up that turn. I should have attacked with Jinza. We're gonna win this. I'm not. I'm not even worried, guys. What turn we at? Eight minutes. But yeah, back to my original point. Uh, man. Yeah, thanks for the subscribers. Uh, I had a list of guys, things I wanted to tell you guys. Hang on, let me grab my list. Let me just grab my list. Okay. Thanks for the subscribers. Right, the backlog. So. It's funny. Ah, we did get the time wizard. Time you let go. Should I risk it? Should I use the coin effect, guys? No, no, no. But I will use power. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that. You know, <laughs> risky. Yeah. Now, time wizard will age baby dragon a thousand years. Now, I play my strongest card in Battle City. Thousand dragon. Well, I guess technically Guilford the Lightning was... Well, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, side note, I don't think Joey actually ever summoned Thousand Dragon in this duel. No, but anyway. Uh, yeah, pretty easy. Of course, in the anime, Joey won with Giffy the Iron Knight. Uh, anyway, let me finish reading this dialogue, and then I'll get back to what I was, you know, kind of saying about my channel and whatnot. Oh, hang on, let me take a drink. Let me take a drink. Very excited to be playing this, but yeah, I should be able to post this today, long story short, or 
you know, maybe five o'clock tomorrow on the 21st. Yeah, welcome to Loserville, Weaver. Weaver population you. Man, Joey has some pretty good uh, burners, uh, good lines. Yeah, I, 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 I lost, but, but, but wait, my lost, my, my, my infant queen, no. Yeah, all right, we will cough them up, your insect queen and your perfectly ultimate gray moth and your two locator cards. Ha have mercy. <laughs> Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> yeah, mercy. You should have thought of that before you decided to cheat. Now, just like at Thulis Kingdom, you're out of the tournament. And also, Weevil, you're weak. What? Yeah, you heard me. And we unlock my mama control. Now we get Insect Queen, that's good. Perfectly ultimate great moth. Pinch Hopper. Didn't see that, but uh, yeah, Pinch Hopper, if it's destroyed, uh, this card right here, yeah, be warned, he can summon Insect Queen straight up pretty easy, so. Uh, anyway, what time? We have time for my, we have time for my uh, control. Uh, uh, anyway, side note, after this duel, uh, we may do a few custom duels. I'm not gonna do the reverse duels because I don't think I've done any yet, have I? Have I done any reverse duels? Not yet. Hmm, maybe I should do some reverse duels next commentary episode? Oh no, but we have done these two reverse duels. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I remember we were building like a custom deck of Exodia, so I may do like reverse duels of this one and this one. Well, just the ones we've done so far. Uh, well, no, wait, we haven't done this reverse duel yet. <laughs> Easiest reverse duel ever, though. Um, but yeah, we may do some duels like without commentary after, the, just so you guys know. Uh, anyway, mind control. Reading time. Oh, a lot of plot here, a lot of plot. Mm. Let's do it, guys. Merrick was in possession of two of the three Egyptian god cards. Please, you puzzle together to bring his plan together. Suddenly, Yuki Moto found himself being challenged by a duelist named Streets on planet Yardrat. Uh, now, this guy never actually talked. So I'm just gonna give him the Merrick voice because Merrick controlled him the entire time in the anime. Uh, maybe he talked in the Japanese version? No, I don't think so. Maybe he talked in the manga. I don't know. Wahaha, Yugi, foolish fool. Prepare to duel, fool, and you lose your puzzle, for I will destroy the world. Wahaha. Merrick! Meet my mind slave, Strings the Quiet One. Peace and quiet is what I like, and that's why I've decided to become a librarian. What? Thanks to the power of my millennium <laughs> rod, you foolish fool, he shall defeat you and everything you hold dear. Coward! Why should I waste my time looking for the right book to check out when I can duel you through my mind puppet, Yugi? Battling with the power of my Millennium Rod and taking over this guy's body is no different than using your puzzle to have your body taken over in a duel by the spirit of the Pharaoh. That's not true, Merrick. You force your servants to do your dirty work by taking control of their minds against their will. I duel with respect and honor, and also I might use my magical powers to mind crush people. <laughs> Wahaha! See what I mean? Isn't using the mind crush evil? No, it's not, Merrick. Now make your move. All right, I got that out of the way. Story deck time. All right, so we'll attempt this with the story deck a couple times, and of course, if we don't win, we will try again next episode. Anyway. So we'll be going first. Let me just kind of make the first move, and then we'll go from there. Ah, uh, yeah, this do. Oh, goodness gracious. 
Yeah, so you guys can see my hand. Yugi, 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 Yugi. Like, seriously, buddy, buddy. Why are you running Burfamet? He doesn't even have a fusion deck. This. Who made this deck? Who made this? Like, okay, you have Burfamet to search Gazelle. You don't even have one polymerization in this deck? What? What kind of sense does that make? I mean, yeah, I know card destruction and hand destruction are good, but like, dude, give me one poly and like, give me the standard fusions, man. Like, who made this deck? I, I don't get it. Yeah, some of the story decks you use are just ah, ridiculous, man. Now this, I will gladly mirror force for two reasons. Revival Gem won't come back, and plus we can search Gazelle, I guess, next turn, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, but enough about the game. Ooh, this is actually a better combo, in my opinion. Brain control something good from him, and then birth him back? Hmm, I like that, I like that. Okay, we're gonna pass. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, kind of at the start, so the backlog, all of the Legacy of the Duelist backlog is done, which is... Very, very good. Uh, also, all of the... Well, not all. I only have, uh, like, two episodes of Backlog of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And then, like, we're to the point where I am... Where I returned, you know, because I returned to YouTube about, like, a month ago. Like, on the 20th of, uh... uh what is this? My G? What? Okay, first of all, Strings did not have this card in the anime. And second of all, that's a pretty good effect. Your opponent cannot select this card as an attack. What? Wow, how are you supposed to get rid of this card? Well, I guess Yugi does have cards like this, but... Yeah, that's a... What? Anyway, um, but yeah, so all of Legacy of the Duelist backlog's done, all of GX backlog's done, all of, and, excuse me, I just say, and uh, I'm drinking soda, so I got the burps, and also, all, almost all, there's a little bit of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses backlog, and it's with the, um... Oh, I forget the deck leader. Is it Command Knight? No, maybe it's uh, Air Knight Parshath. Well, either way, that's there's only like one. Um, I guess we'll go with... Maybe I should hand destruction this. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Hand destruction. Goodbye, goodbye. Give me two more cards, please. Summon Skull, I like. I like Summon Skull. Now I sacrifice my Buffamet to play my Summon Skull. Everyone knows that your water monsters are weak against lightning. Go Summon Skull, lightning strike. And what is this? What is this Mario looking dude? Magio Sheldon. Can't be special summon except by its own effect. If tributed, Oh, okay. Oh, I see the reason for this. I see the reason. It combos with this, and also, yeah, just a heads up. Uh, Strings, aka Merrick, had Slifer in this duel in the anime, and Yami Yugi didn't even have a god card yet. Uh, but he still managed to win. Uh, with very good skill, by the way. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, so only one section of Duels of the Roses is left. Um, in fact, Dawn of Destiny is caught up, as, as some of you may have saw. About like a week ago, I posted like an episode of Dawn of Destiny with commentary. And that's how you know for sure it's caught up, because like, yeah, if I'm putting in commentary, that's, that's a green light. That means like, yeah, dude. <laughs> We are, we're officially caught up. So Dawn of Destiny is caught up. And believe me, like, the one thing I was worried about was Dawn of Destiny. Because that was one of the first Let's Plays I've started. And uh, Troubadour is... 
there's like one or two backlogs, and then we're caught up to where, yeah, to about a month ago. So, yeah, yeah, that's, in other words, uh, things are going good. Stay tuned for more, guys. Stay tuned for more. Uh, man, a lot of his monsters... Good thing I played some of Skull. 2,000, 2,000. Look at the defenses of all his monsters. Jeez. I mean, other than Revival Jam. I should probably keep attacking with some of Skull. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Good call, Ref. Wait, so that's his third Mario shelled on, right? Oh, I'm sorry. My Geo. Dude, this thing looks like a discount Mario. Look at it. It's like this guy got lost on Yoshi's Island. Uh, but yeah, there is something else I wanted to mention in this video. Right! I just, uh, last night, I posted my first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel! Now, this game was made in 2016 or so, or 2018, I don't know. You guys know when this game was made. But, uh, yeah, Master Duel is obviously pretty new. And I would wager to say Master Duel is definitely the most new game, period, on my channel. So, that's good. Uh, wait, why can't I replay the attack? Excuse me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Your opponent can... Ah, jeez. Well. All right, all right. We do have a way to burn him out. So as long as he attacks, we're good. Let's just life force sword here just to, you know, get rid of my spell and trap zone. Okay, so there's that. And now main phase two. I guess I'll switch some stuff to defense. Although this guy has piercing too, right? Yeah, he does. Ah, right, well. Guess I'll switch to defense anyway. Hopefully he just... Uh, hopefully the AI just attacks with this thing because and doesn't have like Book of Moon because that would suck. Yeah, yeah, attack me, bro, attack me. Uh, now I use my magic cylinder. I need a magician card for this to work, but this will redirect your attack back to your own monster. At least that's what it did in the anime. Go, spell shattering arrow, which was also known as uh. What was that known as? Well, he used that a lot in Duelist Kingdom. It was known by a completely different name. But the name is lost on me right now. No, I can think of it. I can think of it. What was the name? What was the name? Because he used it in the in the Duel versus Kaiba. Living Arrow. Living Arrow, yes. Now I combine my Living Arrow with my Mammoth Graveyard to fuse it with your Blue Eyes Ultimate. Yeah, Living Arrow. <whistles> Busted in the anime. Not so good in the actual TCG. I win, Merrick. It's over. Now, um, I didn't really mention it, but there was a lot more story uh, stuff going on, obviously, that this game cut out. Um, so this was Yugi's first time facing an Egyptian God card. And he was pretty overwhelmed in the anime. Because Slifer just reached, like, real high stats and he couldn't do anything well and the main reason he couldn't do anything is because Merrick set up like the revival jam jam defender lock so in the anime you don't need to pay life points for revival jam also it can intercept like redirected attacks with the jam defender thing and also it revives instantly like you don't have to wait till your next standby phase or whatever in the anime, Revival Jam revives instantly. Um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, so how did Yugi like break? The main problem wasn't even Slifer, because at one point he got Buster Blader high enough, and he also like redirected Slifer's attack, like I was talking about. Like he, he and he took Slifer's points down with Spellbinding Circle. So, like he got Slifer low enough twice. But the problem was Revival Jam kept protecting Slifer. So uh, eventually Yugi, like he stalled out a little bit, drew Monster Reborn, revived Buster Blader. Slifer was at like 11,000 points at this point. But like he attacked Revival Jam 
and then like while it was in the middle of reviving which I guess this is an anime thing so it's okay he used brain control on revival jam moved it to his side and I guess like logic it still worked and then you know Merrick also had card of safe return which I guess in the anime you're forced to draw the three cards from card of safe return because in the actual TCG it's optional like if you revive a monster from your grave you can always say no and not draw a card so I guess in the anime it's like forced you have to draw the three and long story short it created this endless loop with Cypher's second mouth ability and yeah Merrick decked out so again I they cut out a lot I just filled it in for you but uh, anyway, I win. It's over. Give me your Egyptian god card. Wah ha ha, foolish fool. How can I lose with an Egyptian god card in my deck? Uh, because you are the worst duelist on the planet, Merrick. On the planet. Literally. Wah ha ha, you'll pay. You may have defeated Slifer, but I hold another Egyptian god card. A much more powerful one. Okay, Logic 105 here. If you want it, okay, Yugi doesn't even know the God cards exist, right? Why wouldn't you, and I mean you, Merrick, not your, your mind puppet or whatever. If you're trying to defeat Yugi, and yes, I know that's not his real goal, but like, why wouldn't you just show up in person? I know you can't teleport. Like, at this point, Merrick's kind of like on a ship on his way to Battle City. Okay, whatever. But, like, why would you, like, risk only one god card in a deck? Like, why don't you just... Okay, two options. Either hand both god cards to a really good duelist and, you know, take Yugi out. Because there's no way he's going to be two god cards. Especially Raw. That thing's busted. Uh, so, yeah, why not go at him with two god cards, first of all? And then, second of all, why not just duel him yourself? I mean... I'm sure Yugi would have found a way, but I, uh, then again, the God cards are pretty good in the anime. And honestly, at this point in the story, this exact point, if Merrick had took it on, on himself with both God cards, or, you know, maybe had Odeon do it with both God cards, which I don't know if it would have worked with Odeon, but still. Yeah, I don't think Yugi would have got past, I mean, maybe he would have got past one, but I don't think he would have got past both big mistake by Merrick like I never looking back at Battle City I never really agreed with this decision like why go at Yugi with only one god card I get that they're really strong you know but like I, I don't know I don't get it so save our this victory while you can foolish fool for it will be your last I mean cuz by effectively only going at him with one you're going at him with like half strength you know what I mean and if Yugi wins, he only wins one god card anyway. You still get to keep the other one, like... Bro! Win-win, like... <laughs> Let's assume I'm wrong and Merrick still loses for plot, which obviously he would. I mean, you didn't really lose Raw, you still have Raw. You know, or you still have Slifer, you know, I guess Yugi would... I guess the only problem with putting two in one deck is Yugi would get to choose which one, you know, he... But anyway, but but Ra's useless to Yugi. He can't read Egyptian. Right? Am, am I alone here? Am I... Am I... In fact, think about what I just said. Yugi can't read Egyptian. And he doesn't even know about the gut cards. At that exact point in the story, why not just go after... Okay, if you are going to go after him with just one god card, just go after him with Raw. It's useless to him. And if he beats you, he can't even use it. Dude, I just, I, I just broke the whole formula of this show right now. This duel, I just broke the whole formula. If, if Yugi takes Raw here instead of Slifer, it's useless. I don't know. Maybe the Millennium Power Puzzle will somehow, you know, activate and let him, like, read the chant. But I don't know. I don't know. He didn't even read the chant successfully until 
he had all three. So, anyway, that's just a theory. A Yu Gi Oh! theory. And, yeah. Alright, guys. This has been. That was quite a long outro, so sorry about the long outro. But, yeah. You guys agree? Disagree? Let me know down in the comments. But, uh, yeah. Very excited to be back to Legacy of the Duels. Um, like I said, next episodes, we're probably going to do a little grinding on the... I'll just show you guys here. On the uh, HDMI recording device, which I have right behind the cell phone. Got this hooked up to the computer, to the laptop. So we're going to, yeah, do a little dueling with no commentary. I'll probably do these four, honestly. Not the reverses. These four plus the reverse of this one for sure and we'll keep trying to build the exodia deck so uh yeah hope you guys enjoy that uh now let me check my notes did i say everything i wanted to say i think so let me let me this is gonna be a long part but sorry about that but uh there were a couple things i really wanted to update you guys on so let's see. Thanks for the subscriber. Update. All right. Right. So uh, maybe I should start a new video. No, no, we'll just leave it in this one. Uh, so one of the few things you'll notice that I haven't really updated yet is Pokemon. Pokemon Emerald. Um, the randomizer. Well, I'll just keep it straight with you guys. When I came back to YouTube, what I did is I looked at the views. Basically, I looked at, I, I was just like, okay, this was like two months before I even, two months ago, th two, three months ago, I was like, hmm, I really want to come back, but let's just look at the views. What has the highest views? You know, on the playlist or whatever. Those were obvious. Donna Destiny, True, uh, Nightmare Troubadour, and uh, 